You're falling towards the ground at high speed. Your life flashes before your eyes. Wait a minute, this is Jeb's life. Hello guys, I'm Orbiter, your Welsh engineer, and welcome to Kerbal Quest, Series 2, Part 50. Evening, evening landing. No, Eve landing and cloud launching. Hmm, what can that be? We'll all find out. Anyway, this is going to be my mission to land you on Eve and launching, which... If anybody's watched my Leafs and Series uh, episodes, they'll know that I have trouble launching from Eve. In fact, I've never done it with a stock part. Anyway, a reminder to you all, if you want to be added as a Kerbal, don't forget to pick Kerbal in your comment so I can filter out. If you do not, you probably won't be added as a Kerbal, just because I use that to filter out, so I won't see your comment to add Kerbals when I do so. Anyway, let's get our Kerbals into orbit. And here we are, we're using the advanced engines from a mod, and there we have it, the EVE Lander. It's a small little bugger, and it's got a one-man cockpit. So, yes, we've only got one Kerbal going to land on EVE. Unfortunately, this is the best way I could work out to do it. And if you wonder what those hexagon things are on the side, and you don't know, you will find out. Anyway, let's plot it a course, let's go on our way, and as always, I read out the comments as well. So the first comment is from Vulops. First, I think. But anyways, good videos as always. Keep it going, I shall do. And uh, don't worry, Kerbal Quest will not be ending here. I plan to build more and go to the star systems. You can see that blue dot in the distance? That's a star system. Oh yes, I almost forgot this bit. I'm going to read out the names of the Kerbals that are on this mission. First off, we have the Kerbalnator. He's bad luck. I normally blows up everything. Yes, and I know I put it in the Eve launcher, lander launcher thing. Which you, yeah, we'll, we'll find out if he is bad luck. I don't think he is. I'm going to give him a go. Don't worry, I think he'll be good at it. Anyway, let's get to the other names of the Kerbals. And as always, I love this bit of the KSP. You can view through all the cockpits and everything. And our first Kerbal up. Ills Thanix 117. He's a loose cannon. Like Jeb, though, he wants to slow down and sunbathe. But on the sun, extreme sunbathing. And Cowman 911 joined the space program in hope of raising cattle. He's looking to buy some space cows, so if anyone's selling, Brett Chef, an accountant who was told he would get an office at a high level. No one told him it would be this high. And this is XX Potato Aim X69. After watching the Martian, he wants to try to create a bright purple potato. He thinks Eve will help. John Benson. He's Superstar, but we don't know where he's from. Superstar of. We think it's something to do with quantum mechanics, where he doesn't exist. And we're perplexed. This is perplexed curb and kind. Driver. He's an undercover police detective trying to find that snack thief. Driver 3, undercover police detective trying to find Driver 2. Uh, I think they're brothers, yeah. Hmm. Not sure why they've got Driver as their main name. Anyway, a Dragon Lord Kerman. He has ultimate power in the universe. His hobbies include destroying the universe, but not allowed to do it at the moment because he was told not to. So he's waiting. And a lawless Jaguar. Dreams of being a planet one day, but needs to eat a lot of snacks first to get to that mass. Ryan Hovey, quite intelligent Kerbal who enjoys learning too much for his own good. I have truly have he has truly ascended to a high level state of mind. Doesn't understand the need for oxygen. No, nor do I. And this is Will Will is it Wilhelm? Yeah, a fast Kerbal who seems to be traveling faster than any other Kerbals, even though they are in the same cockpit. What's up with that? Oh yes, this is the biggest mistake. He is so good at engineering, he once destroyed a near-finished space station he spent four hours building. Killed all 14 Kerbals on board. True story. And auto save was off. And Joel Kerman, a retired evil genius. Or is he retired? Mm hmm. And Woff wa Gnum. He's got his name from a game of Scrabble. And it sh he sure it means something. We often and we think it means we often forgo going 
we often forego going home, which means a lot for Kerbal Kind. Yeah, they, they seem to go on these missions, but most of them don't seem to go back. We're not sure if it's because they don't want to come back, or perhaps it might be that they can't come back. Hmm, interesting stuff. <laughs> Anyway, those are the Kerbals for this mission. I've read them out. I hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah, people have been saying that I should read them out at the beginning of the episode or the end of the episode. I'm not sure where. I tried it at the end. I tried it at the beginning. Well, we'll see. I think it's something we have to work out. Anyway, next comment I read out from Geometry Dashers. Hi. Hello. Alien boy me first, I think. No, you're third. Ha <laughs> ha. Sir Hoot, Le Sir Hoot a lot McHoot the 67th, first, nope, fourth. Yes, you got it right. <laughs> Alien by me again. No, I wasn't. Dang it. Next time, yes, you realize you're not first. <laughs> anyway, first, Fast Martin. Haha, <laughs> that intro was great. I hope you enjoyed this one. <laughs> Although, I haven't edited it yet, so we'll find out what it's going to be like. But I assure it's going to be good. Anyway, here we are. We're at Eve. We've separated the main delivery rocket and the lander, and uh, yes, I seem to have gotten a bit RCS on here, so I'm using the main engine, thrust slightly, that's why we pumped the lander. Hopefully we haven't damaged the heat shield there. So we can rotate the rocket to get it back into orbit, because I didn't put any rockets on the lander stage to deorbit it. Damn it, engineering blender. But look at that, we engineered a solution. And that's what engineering is all about. Solutions to problems. Anyway, Aki Games says, what mods do I use? Well, I normally post the mods in the episodes. It's quite a lot of mods. This game keeps on crashing now and again. That's why I want to do a new save. Perhaps I'll do a new game with the same uh, planets that I've got on this one so we can keep it. I haven't, I've got planets around these stars. I've never seen them. I don't know what plan many there are. 15, I think there are, actually. I don't know how many there are. I just don't know where they are and what type of plants they are. So it's going to be exploration. Anyway, here we are. We're entering the atmosphere. No, no, no. We're flipping out. <laughs> Come on, Carbonator. Live up. Don't, no, don't live up to your name. Do not self destruct. You can imagine a terminal, a Kerbal Terminator would so, so accidentally kill himself. Because that's what Kerbal Terminators would do, wouldn't they? Anyway, I open up the balloons that we got on this mod. Yes, you may see how what those hexagon things are now. The balloons. Anyway, let's get our Kerbal down to the surface. That might make him sick as well at the same time. For messing up. <laughs> anyway, from Space Explorer. The disaster in... Oh, it was Aki Games, yeah. Check in earlier episodes, they'll be in the description what mods I use. There is Basic Flora, says, The disaster at Duner orbit was not fun. Did you add aircrafters back? If not, your aircrafters current job pilot mission wanting to escape the smelly Kerbal system and find another smelly solar system. Full with blue cheese. What? Yeah, he put the what in there as well. Yes, I'm asking what as well. What do you mean, smelly blue cheese? It's not a snack the Kerbals really enjoy. You might be on a rocket on your own in, this, in that case. Don't worry, you'll be going to the stars. All Kerbals will be going to one of the star systems. I might do multiple missions, depending on where the planets are. We'll work it out anyway. From Johan Samar. Failure is not an option because the gods of the skies can just F9 the world. <laughs> you have to press F5 first. Anyway, it's worked. With the combination of the balloons, we've come down safely. We've landed! Yes, Kerbinator Kerbin is not fully incompetent. Not fully. I'll stress that out. <laughs> anyway, Ivan Her Hernandez. Whoa, that was a lovely sunset, and I've reached my goal, going to live. It's hard. <laughs> By the way, great video. Yes, and now we've landed on Eve, we find out we haven't got a ladder. And because the gravity and air resistance on Eve is quite high, you can't jump that high. So you can't jump, you can't use your EVA pack to grab the ladder. So yeah, we're going to forego an EVA mission and go straight for the launch. 
So a few seconds later, which seems like an eternity, we will launch. First off, the launching procedure requires us to get high at the ups here, as high as possible. When we're at the highest point, then we'll engage those rockets. But to get as high as possibly can, let's dump as much weight as we can. We don't need them. We were going to have more balloons on here, six altogether, to get as high as possible. But, oh, balls. We'll have to make do with them. So let's jettison these things, because we don't need them. The decouplers was the word I was looking for. Anyway, the football gamer says, can I be Ryder Kerman? Yes, you can be. And you want to be level 5 badass Kerbal. No problem. Badass? Do you mean Soros? No, no. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. <laughs> badass. Left Waffle. Oh, one. Hey, Aubrey. I just wanted to say that your videos are great. Also, I want to ask if you could add me as a Kerbal in the next video. Sorry, I can't. I always leave it one video out. So if you, you know, if you were asked in the last episode, you won't be in this episode. But if you asked two episodes before, you could be in this episode. That's why there's 15 Kerbals on this mission. <laughs> it's just that, you know, people got asked to add at a later date, and then it's, I'm going to miss them. So, yeah, that's that's the way I'm running this show. Fortez says, Kerbal Fortez, thanks in advance. No problem, will be added. Alex Public says, Orbiter, just in case, if you will be out of ideas, making some res make some rescue missions of Kerbals that are on the planet, like in this video. There are some Kerbals on Duna to rescue them. Yes, in fact there are. However, the orbits, because of the mods of this game, the orbits of a lot of the space stations and all that have gone haywire. I'm not sure what mod is called causing this. It could be the planet mods that uh, cause the orbits go haywire. I don't know. It's So that's when I'm going to start a brand new save. So unfortunately, rescue missions are out. Because some of the missions in orbit were the Kerbals that were sort of like going to transport other Kerbal home from the surface of the planet. So yes, yeah, it's going to be a bit too hard, sorry, to rescue all those Kerbals, even the ones stranded in space. Anyway, Shane Baldwin, hello! That's the awesome Canadian. Oh, and here we go, launching. However, uh, yeah, we seem to be flipping out. And I think Mech Jeb has messed up the throttle control. Which was making it hard to control and I couldn't stay going straight. Why not? What the hell are you doing? And the problem was actually that when I started the launch, we're at an angle. Which is a damn shame. Because I was hoping this would work. It's not that I'm gonna abandon this. In fact, I think what we'll do is we'll revert flight, go back to the space center, and bring the proper thing to see if. Because we know if we would re-enter the atmosphere, the balloons exploded. If we didn't flip out there, we would have been fine. So I quick so quick load her, revert, but not revert, but go back to the space center and bring Jebediah along. Wait a minute, I was supposed to bring Kerbinator and Jebediah snuck in. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Let's do this as I planned. Although I did do one change to this. The main engine in the center is one of the advanced engines. I changed that because I realized you get slightly more Delta V from it. And if anybody's has any idea about Delta V, now say to launch on Kirby. And oops, I opened the parachute at the same time here. Sorry. Yeah, if anybody's has any idea about Eve, Eve has a thick atmosphere. So launching into orbit from Kirby takes 3,300 meters per second Delta V minimum or let's say 4,000 at average, depending on you know, how efficient your launches are. Uh, but on EVE, you need about 8,000 meters per second. Yes, that is extreme. So getting the height, I remember watching Scott Malley, he got to the highest peaks that he could find and then launch from there. Even then, he almost didn't make it. And that was in the old game before aerodynamics would stop you or make you flip out, so. Yeah, that was, you know, at a time when it was a lot easier. Anyway, let's get this to its height, which I find that was 20,000. I mess around a bit to try and get as high as possible. Anyway, Shane Baldwin said, Lathe is an awesome little moon. Would be nice to see Ker a Kerbal City get built on Lathe. A full colonization. 
protecting their species by having more than one egg, well, more than one home, or more eggs. Uh, how did the saying go? I almost, I almost had it then. Not have your eggs all in one basket? Yeah, yeah. Like, on planet Earth, all people on planet Earth are on planet Earth, and if they all get an extinction level event, then we'll all die. No more human race. Perhaps that's why we should go to Mars. Uh, there are a lot of big asteroids that could hit Caribbean and wipe out all life on the planet. Hmm, sounds like a story, but there. If we had a lathe in our solar system, I would go there in a heartbeat to explore and live there. In fact, Shane Baldwin, I'd be on the same shuttle, on the same shuttle as you will be. Because, let's face it, if we had a lathe, if we had a planet like that, with an oxygen atmosphere that we could actually breathe, that would be flipping awesome. You know, I think NASA would have a mission there. The only thing is, it's going orbiting around a, giant, um, a gas giant. As long as we know, gas giants like Jupiter have high radiation around them, so I'm not sure what the radiation would be like on a moon that close, or how far it is, or how far the radiation field is, but it could be deadly. But if it had a magnetic field around the planet, or the moon, then it might be survivable. It's quite interesting. Anyway, Assassin 1275, 123, says, will the, when will there be a rescue mission for our crash mission? Sorry, because of the orbits, we're going to have to forego that. All those, we'll have to say you, you have been rescued. I might make a mock video or something like that, because the orbits are messed up, and I can't use this save that I'm in, playing with now. From Pete Macrita. Could I be a Kerbal and Pete Macrita in the next episode? Told my teacher to show you uh, show you to us, and everyone really liked you. Thanks very much. But unfortunately, I can't add you because I only recently added you. But uh, I add people, you know, I start this mission, and then I go back, check the comments, filter them, add the Kerbals to the spreadsheet that I use to add the Kerbals, because if I add them all in the game at one time, it's going to be hard searching for everyone. So, yes, you don't worry, you'll be going to one of the stars, though. The randomizer. Kerbals, Kerbals, Kerbals! How did they ever get named that? In fact, that is a good story. <laughs> I can't think of a funny story right now. But it was made by Philip Bear or Harvester, as he's known as. He's left the KSB development team, but he was the one who originally made it. Made, invented the Kerbals as a kid. And poor Jebediah. Well, Bugger Jebediah, not poor Jebediah. He's, He's supposed to be Kerbal Nator. He's getting radioactivized by that engine there. And yes, that is a real word because I just made it up. Joseph M. War. War never changes. Lol. Yep, I'm terrible at names. <laughs> oh, that's my reply. Sorry. And you butchered them Kerbal names. Yes. I, I do. I'm terrible with names. Right, we've only got enough space for a couple of comments from Matthew Summer. Of course, failure is an option. However, in KSB and in life, the true secret to being successful is to blame others for your failures. And unfortunately, yes, yeah, sometimes that works. But uh, it's not good practice, because you will be found out in the end. From Christopher Wojcio Garangua. Hey, Operator, another funny video. You should consider, you consider packing pillows for Kerbals in case of a rough landing. Oh, by the way, heavy metal loves m classical music <laughs> and exposure to it over a long time makes him think of parachuting to the surface of planets from orbit. Oh yes, I forgot you asked that. Unfortunately, this is the end of the video. If you like the video, crank the like button. And ooh, ask to be horrible if you want to be. I'm Orbiter. Trust me, I'm an engineer and all Kerbals will be added to go to another solar system. So yeah, be patient if the next uh, the Kerbal quest is out a bit later.